So, John, we're just into the second series. How would you reflect on our opening 10 matches of 2024? Yeah, I think everybody knows we had a slow start in the first uh, five or six games and um, probably didn't pick up as many points as we would have liked. And I think in the last uh, four games, we've we've been better in terms of points returned and um, you know, especially at home. In the last two home games, we've picked up maximum points, which is which is great and something that we'll look to try and continue on on Friday. Yeah, as you mentioned, unbeaten in the last four since the international break and the American trip. Two wins and two draws, three clean sheets as well. What have been the keys to that positive run? Yeah, I think you mentioned there, clean sheets obviously give you a basis to build on and give you um, something to, to hang on to. You know, I think it's important. We've we've had numerous conversations about, obviously we go into each game to try and win it, but if we can't win it, make sure you know we, we don't get beat. And I think it's important that we come out of every game with something. We obviously try and get maximum points every game we play. and. Um, you know, for whatever reason, if that if that doesn't, you know, come to fruition for us, it's important that we come out with something. I think the clean sheets obviously give you that basis and give you that footing that you can you can start off uh, start on, should I say, and and gives you uh, the opportunity to do that. So, um, so yeah, no, I think it's it's important. I think good for confidence for the defenders as well. I think we have defended um, well. I think we've we've looked solid. So it's it's trying to continue to do that and. Uh, and obviously Friday is going to be up against uh, a good front line for Watford. And the last three games as well, you, you've you've had to pick a, a left-sided centre-back at right-back as such, given the, the three senior right-backs have been out injured as well. Luke's done brilliant along with the centre-backs, mm-hmm. Anto, and of course D- Danny Rogers coming in as well. So that has to be a plus two, given that Luke's had to move position and done so well. Of course, scored a couple of goals from set-pieces too. Yeah, yeah, he's obviously scored the, the couple against Ligo in the first game he played there. and. Um, he's come in and done really well. He's a, he's he's a good defender. He's a good football player, and um, you know I think he's he's done fine in there for us. And, and as I said, the the back four have done well, so it's important. And so back four plus Danny have done well, so it's important to try and um, you know keep that going and um, and look to to try and now and uh, score a few more goals and you know win a few more games. Just on the table overall, just after the first series, really tight between second and eighth, just five points between those places and everyone taking points off each other. Just your thoughts on the league overall after the opening quarter because it does feel very, very open. Yeah, no, of course it is. I think um, I think most clubs would have spoke about before the start of the season about how, how tight the league will be and how everybody on their day can beat anyone. Um, so, yeah, it, it's very tight. I think a couple of wins, a couple of back-to-back wins. Obviously, we've got a... Friday, Monday weekend, so if we can get get some points on the board. You know, the table will look totally different. So it's important to to try and pick up points and, and keep climbing, and then obviously look at the table a bit further down the line. Yeah, as you mentioned, a Friday, Monday, Friday to come. So three matches in a week. Water for the home this Friday. A trip to Derry on Monday in a, in a game move forward for European reasons, and then a derby at Talca Park against Shelburne. So how are the lads set for another three game week and what's going to be a busy month or six weeks? Yeah, of course we've. Um, Obviously preparing well, we're obviously focused on Waterford right now um, and then we look at Derry over the weekend so I think it's, it's we're obviously aware that we have got three games in a week but we haven't looked past Waterford and I don't think you can in this league, if you start looking too far ahead it's when um, you can fall back so it's important that we focus fully on this game and then take the next ones down when they come along. How do you plan for that as a staff? I remember you, you speaking recently about the last three-game week and looking at the GPS data and speaking to players in terms of their load on a Friday into a Monday with another game on the following Friday. But as you said, you've got to focus on the next one, but still try and manage the squad, manage the load and do your analysis based on the next couple of games. Yeah, well, I think it's um, the most important game is the next one. So Waterford is the one that we're focused on. We'll go into that game um, and try and try and win it as best we can. Um, and then off the back of that, you look into the next one and then obviously have a look at all the stuff you spoke about there to see um, who is, is fully fit and ready to go. And then we pick the best team of the players that are available for the next game. So that's generally how we do it. You know, just focus on the first game and then the second and third game will take care of themselves. Back to back home wins. The last time we played at home, Sligo on the Monday and Shamrock Rovers, an electric night, particularly the second half, two big crowds there as well. So you'll be hoping the lads can continue that. And, make Richmond a fortress, as you've spoken about before, and a difficult place on Friday for Waterford to come, for sure. Yeah, I think our home form in recent weeks has been good, so it's important to try and con- you know continue to build on that and obviously give the crowd something to, to get behind. And I think that comes when, when we bring an energy on the pitch, it then you know um, transfers into the stands, so that's important. 
Um, it's probably the moments where the, the games can be a bit dull or slack. I think it's important that the fans get behind the players and give them, you know, something um, as well. Which, to be fair to them, they have. You know, the singing section down to the left of the dugouts is always loud and always um, at it. So it's it's um, it's great for the players to hear that and, and have that support and something that you know Richmond on a on a Friday night is a special place to be, especially when everybody's behind you. Yeah, some home tickets remain on sympatsfc.com, but we are heading for another capacity home crowd for sure. Just on Waterford, John, they've had a solid start back to life in the Premier. Our last game against them was a 3-1 defeat at the RSC at the start of last month. So just a word on them, the challenge you expect and what the team needs to do differently to try and beat them. Yeah, well, I think um, obviously that was a Monday game. I thought we, we were flat in that game and it was probably our poorest performance of the season. So it's important that we go into it full of energy. I think that's um, that's going to be key. And then obviously being mindful that they have got some very, very good players going forward. Um, attacking players, they've got some really good athleticism in the wide areas. And then obviously a fantastic striker up, up top in Amund who has had a really good career and knows where the goal is. So we'll have to be vigilant and make sure we, we take care of him and, and look, look after him and make sure he doesn't get any clear-cut opportunities. And then uh, we've said it numerous times before about being ruthless when our chances come and, and making sure that we're we're uh, calm in the final tour and we have you know uh, you know cl- clarity and where we can exploit and where we can hurt them. And lastly, just squad wise, how's everybody looking injury and, and fitness wise ahead of the weekend? Yeah, most of the boys are now back um, training. I think we had nearly everybody on the training pitch today, which is great. Um, obviously, Axel is probably the the one that's going to be a bit long term. Tom Grawasti's back training probably another couple of weeks before he um, before he sees any minutes maybe with the 20s and Ramal has obviously come on the pitch a few times and, and looks like he could really help us so um, he's had another good week's training so Kieran Freeman and Roy McLaughlin are, aren't too far away either so hopefully one of them should be available for, for Friday. Great, thanks John, best of luck. Thank you.